How's it going YouTube? It's Root Junkie here and we're going to be talking about my Galaxy Note 7. Yes, these devices have been officially recalled. Not just recalled once, but recalled twice. So I returned my first one. This is currently on the second one I have right here. Um, and Samsung is now recalling it as well. So they've had some major battery problems with phones blowing up and burning up and not good. So what we're going to talk about today is I'm going to show you some steps you're going to want to take before you return your Samsung Galaxy Note 7 to the carrier or to Samsung um, to prep for your return process and hopefully make it smooth for you. Let's go do this. Well, first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and download this right here, Smart Switch. Um, it's an easy way to switch between devices and basically what we're going to do with this is we're going to use it to back up our device. And the reason you're going to want to come down here and download it to your PC specifically. Now if you have another device you can do it, use it across your cables that way but I would recommend doing it this way because when you go into your store to return your phone they will not turn on your phone and transfer any of your information from your Note 7 because they're afraid that it's going to explode and they're all told not to turn it on. So when you go to turn it in, you can't get them to switch any of your contacts and information. So download Smart Switch and go ahead and open up the program once you get it installed. I'm going to go ahead and plug in my uh, Note 7 and uh, see if we can get it to connect. And basically this is a very simple to use program, um, very easy to set up and use. So I'm just going to show you some preferences with it. Um, depending on maybe what you want to back up. Most people back up a lot of their content to Google's cloud service. So if you're using that, that's great. But if you're not, this is definitely going to be important. So what you're going to want to do is just come in here and click backup. But before you do that, we can go into preferences and you can see right here all the things that it will back up for you. So this is your contacts, your S planner, messages, call logs, clock, if you have alarm clock set, internet uh, settings and favorites, images, music, everything. Home screen configuration, settings, emails. It'll back up everything for you if you want to do it. You know, pick what you want to pick right here. And it's very simple from here is just go ahead and click the backup and it'll back up your Galaxy Note 7. The process will take oh, quite a while depending on what you've selected to back up. So be prepared, you know, to take some time. But if you get this done, now when you get your new Samsung product, you can plug it right in, whether it's maybe you get the S7, you get the S7 Edge, um, or any other, other device. Now, if you get something that's not Samsung, obviously this isn't going to be too helpful for you. You want to back your contact up another way, but just make sure you get some backup somehow, either smart switch or another method to make sure your device is good to go. So I'm not even going to run this right now. I just want to show you this is what you can do. And then when, you're, when you plug in your new device, just hit the restore button and it'll restore whatever your backup is right to your new device. So that makes it very convenient and easy to use. So the next steps, once you've backed up your content, however you synced it to your computer, or whatever process you've gone through for your device, is you're going to want to factory data reset the device. So obviously you're going to want to remove your SIM extraction tool, remove any SD card you have in there, your SIM card, and then we're going to go through the factory reset process. So to do that, we're just going to come in here to settings. And it's a little different on this kind of device. So you're just going to come up here to general maintenance. And then you're going to click on reset. And then you're going to wipe data factory reset the device. And this is going to ask you for a password um, for your accounts. And then you can finish the process. So I'm going to click on it and put in my password. And then I'll show you the rest. So it is deleting right there. You can see it just finished shutting down and it's going to go ahead and wipe data factory reset. So when you're done wipe data factory resetting the device, then it'll go ahead and it'll just boot back up and it'll be wiped clean and you can, you're ready to return this thing to T-Mobile, Ryzen, whoever you got it from directly back to Samsung. Um, and I definitely obviously recommend doing it this way and definitely factory resetting it yourself because otherwise you bring that phone in to a dealer and you turn it in and you have in fact reset that phone you're you're trusting that somebody in that store or whoever's handling that phone next goes ahead and doesn't do anything to it and doesn't open it up and getting your information off of it because it's still there so i just highly recommend bringing in a factory reset device um, when you go to return your note 7. let's make this go real fast
Okay, there we go, there we go, there we go. So you can see it is completed. So at this point, this is the final power down and the sad, sad goodbye to the Note 7 line, uh, at least Note 7 version. I'm pretty sad about it. I love this phone. I was using it since I got it on release day till now. So pretty sad day. So you're done with the uh, phone. Let's just go ahead and pull it out of the clear case. It shows off its beauty. Stick it back in the box and uh, wrap this show up right here. Come on, there we go. And there you go. It's like a funeral for the beautiful Galaxy in Note 7. Sayonara. Catch you guys in the next one. Rude Junkie out.